Some in Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do, too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of everything. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man, a fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy, you understand? This thing falls apart, we fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the play. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? 
lead the way. You get me a new ride in the French Ward. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Four wheels and an engine. Appreciate it. You know I'll stay away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of '62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his... Holy shit! You hit him! The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. Now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out. Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. Here, take it. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. Someone better fuck up so I can Hang bug them. boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump them in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you know? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, I'll see? New guy. This guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> That's rich, Elsie. You a funny motherfucker. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fight niggas. Get in there, meat. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Johnson! Let me hear it, let me hear it. Kick the piss out of him. Knock his teeth in. Dead brother here. 
Just had to start something. This ain't tea time. Compared to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Now, you head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work its way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your pecker burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames consume it. <coughs> The pain will be extraordinary. What you done? Come tussle with a motherfucker, you all Fuck, I asked him. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. So 
That's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? You should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I can't go out like this. Not like this! Say hello to Lou. No, Tell no, Sal to be along short. Come on. Ah! Ah! Gonna bury you, asshole! Getting out of here! Spotted him! Come on! Let me see your ass! <clears throat> Slow, motherfucker, die first! Oh! Can't move! <clears throat> We're down another ah! man! Shit! He's picking us off! Hit him from the other side! No! Uh, fuck uh, that! No! Got you now, dipshit! He's killing our fucking crew! Run for cover! I'm up! Our blood's going down! Let me out! Uh, 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 we got the horn still on that! Let's reload it! Get! Got any left for me, cocksucker? I need you to handle the cops in South Downs. Right away. to the 
money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Langer once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are a cruel and wicked people. Nurse Solon, lad, is this goddamn city finally ours? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. Ain't no one at this table running more action for you than me. On top of that, my guys already got half the rackets in this area locked down. Just keep the shit coming my way, that's all I'm getting at. You got a 50-50 split of the rackets here, lad. Well, that's a mess made of your own doing. But I'll say this much. You came to me to run a part of the city last time. And I'd say it's worked out well for both of us. You got a plan for this territory, right? That's the only reason I can think of why you wouldn't call me. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. It Do it for Donnie, Lincoln. Take your time. Don't second guess this, Lincoln. Give me the keys. Take your time, lad. Wouldn't want to fuck up this last piece of the city. <laughs> this one's all you, Bert. I got big plans for this one, lad. And it starts with a statue of Marcano getting arse fucked by a goddamn badger. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. <laughs> I halfway figured Lincoln would have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised, and I'm lucky to be a part of it. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. <laughs> 